Hi everyone, Mark Donovan here from HomeEditionPlus.com and today I'm in the process of replacing a ballast and a fluorescent light in our closet. Um, the ballast on the existing um, fluorescent light has been failing us for a couple weeks now and basically it just doesn't turn on fully uh, when you hit the light switch. Um, I actually went out and went to Lowe's yesterday, spent some time looking at LED uh, replacement uh, light fixtures for uh, this closet situation and I wasn't impressed with what I saw. Uh, what really bothered me was that uh, the replacement um, light fixtures, which are four feet by roughly uh, 10 inches wide, um, that are LED based, um, have the uh, LED lights integrated into them. So basically, any time the fixture fails, I've got to replace the whole light fixture, not just uh, replace the bulb. And since I have two of these four foot uh, lengths of uh, light in my closet, if one of the fixtures fails, slash the LED light fails, I wind up having to replace both light fixtures down the road some time. Yes, they advertise the LED lights last for 24 years, but there's only a guarantee for five years on the fixture itself. So in my mind, I've got no more than probably five years before I'm replacing two light fixtures in my house um, versus just replacing some bulbs. So that all said, I decided I'm going to go ahead and put a new ballast in. Uh, to the existing fluorescent light structure that I have and uh, hopefully it'll work. So we'll show you how I do this. So to do this project I've got a couple of needle nose pliers, some wire strippers, a utility knife, and a common and a cross point screwdriver as well as some electric tape. Um, probably a overkill for what we're going to need but I've got everything possible that I think I'll need for the project. Okay so I've turned off the circuit breaker uh, to the lights in here and now I'm just going to remove the glass cover We'll get this out of the way and we're going to take out the bulbs next. Alright, so you just have to rotate the bulbs to pull them out. To get to the ballast, I have to take this uh, metal piece out in the middle. And there's just some uh, little um, clamps here that we just have to squeeze and pull in a little bit. And now we have the ballast exposed. This is what we're going to replace. Now it probably would have worked better if I had a nut driver um, tool here. But these needle nose pliers are loose enough to remove that little screw and to separate the ballast uh, from the light fixture itself. We're just going to let it hang here, it's all wired in still. So the new one is thinner but it's the same length and it supports the same type of bulbs that I have um, and it will fit um, into the fixture exactly as the other one did. So we're going to go ahead and wire it in. You'll notice the color code of the wires are the same, blue and red on this side, yellow, black and white. What I'm going to wind up doing over here is cutting these, stripping the wires and splicing on this side. Here I'll just um, take off um, the wire caps and put on uh, the new wires in place of the ones associated with this old failed ballast. So I'm going ahead and cutting the blue and red wires out on this side. All right, and on this side I'm just going to start removing the wire nuts associated with the white and black. Also going to cut away the yellow wires on this side. And we've now removed the old ballast. Now we'll go ahead and put the new ballast in. So now what I'm doing is I'm trimming off about a half inch of shielding um, from the wires so that I can uh, wire nut them in with the uh, wires associated with the ballast. Um, I just want to highlight this is a supply line coming in. Your hot and your neutral and your ground. And you want to make sure that your ground wire, this is exposed copper wire, is attached to the fixture itself so the fixture is grounded. That way in case any electricity uh, were to flow on the, on the uh, fixture itself it would pop the circuit breaker. So to make my life easy I'm going to mount the new ballast into the light fixture itself so that I don't have to worry about having it holding it or dangling, dangling by the loose wires. So just uh, putting it into the tabs and going to screw in the screw uh, using these needle nose pliers to hold the new ballast in place. Alright, so now all I'm doing is attaching the blue wires to the blue wires, the red wires to red wires, yellow to yellow, black to black, white to white. And basically putting a half inch um, twist on the wires and then putting the wire nuts on and screwing them down tight in place. All 
I'm also using a little electric tape around the wire nuts and wires themselves. There's a lot of long, loose wires here, and though they are wired with the wire nuts, just for added precaution, I like to put a little electric tape around each one of the wire nuts and the wires just to make sure nothing pulls out. So I'm just cleaning up the wires, bundling them, so that they kind of go in a nice, kind of nice straight line. That way when I put the casing up, it'll fit nice and uh, snugly, and I won't have to worry about wires poking out the sides of the uh, uh, metal uh, cover. All right, so I've got the metal cover to hide the wires and the ballast. Just gonna squeeze it a little bit and it'll slide underneath the tabs, just like that. And we're ready to put the bulbs back in. Okay, so now we're putting in the light bulbs. Just push them up in place, rotate them, make sure they're locked in. All right, we'll have the switch turned on and the lights are now both working. That ballast is doing its job. All right, now with this light working, we're just gonna put the cover back on to wrap up this project. So that's all it took. It probably took maybe half hour, 45 minutes to get this job done. Uh, basically, we found a replacement ballast uh, that matched the same specifications of the existing one. We took out the screw to remove the ballast, cut the wires, wound up splicing in uh, the ballast wires to the existing uh, wiring that was in the uh, circuit for the light fixture and to the supply line. And that was it. Um, again, I like to not only put the wire nuts on, put a little electric tape around the wire nuts just to make sure nothing gets loose um, in the light fixture. Anyways, that's it. If you have other home improvement questions, make sure to visit homeeditionplus.com today. And if you like this video, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to this channel.